All right, let's start with vowels, okay? Again, as I mentioned, that consonant and vowel needs to be one each, minimum one on the left and one on the right, right? So I'm going to show you one by one of the vowels. So basically, we are not writing the consonant on the left. It's always on the left, all right? Not always, but it can be on top. Actually, let me write it down this way, all right? This one is ah ah all right consonant on the left vowel on the right so there is one extra line this one become ya ya it's quite simple right so imagine this invisible box you're pointing outside so that's ah right double ya okay next one circle on the left this one on the right, so that this all together become a sound, right? So that's pointing inside, right? It's pointing inside, so that's more. The so first one, ah, was pointing outside, goes outside, ah. This one, oh, oh, inner sound, okay? The sound goes inside and it's shorter, all right, compared to the other one, oh, oh. All right, you have to open your mouth a little bit larger, not O or the other sound, all right? Oh, we write it down E-O as this pronunciation. I know it's not, when you're trying to read this one, it's not really exactly O sound, but let's think as a guideline, right? Next one, one more line. Makes it Y'all, Y'all, all right? All, Y'all. Okay, let me put a little bit of gap in between. All right, next one is pointing upside. So this one is a bit different now. So, so far it was all based on vertical line. Now it's all horizontal line. So that horizontal line should stay in the bottom, okay? So this one is O, O. I know it sounds, I mean, we read it as O, right? Like in English, it's O. However, Korean one is O. More Spanish, like O. O, all right? O, make it O. O. All right, next one. Circle. And then put double up. That one, it will be Yo. Yo. All right? Yo. Yo. All right, next one circle and then pointing it down that will be oo oo it's a oo sound okay oo however oo this one is pointing down right oo oo you have to pull pull your lips out oo okay and then which one we're gonna be next one double down right double down that one will be you, 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 u, u, you, right? You, by the way, u, you together, that means in Korean, milk. Another word, right? Next one, circle, and then this long horizontal line only now. This one, people write it down as e, u, but it's more like um, this sounds a bit different. Ooh. Ooh. So in order to make this sound better, uh, open your mouth and say ah, right? Ah, and then close your teeth. Ah, and then make your lips wider as it look. Ooh, ooh, all right? Ah, ooh, 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 ooh sound, all right? Ooh. Next one, circle on the left again because it's one straight so that's e e easy right these are the basic vowels okay so uh it's quite simple all right in order to memorize these and these easier imagine thumb up pointing up that's thumb up right up oh very good <laughs> and then pointing down Ooh, no good oh good oh no good Oh, ooh, 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 
おようゆ。おようゆ。Okay? Very good. So these are the basic vowels, right? And then we do have a complex vowel. So let's get started. So first one. あ plus e. So that it become this sound. Okay? Uh, this look, sorry, this look looks like this, right? Vertical line. So that that's a sound. A. A. Okay? A. And then second one will be ya plus e. That become ye. It looks like this. So I go on the left. Ye. 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 So y in front. Ye. All right. So this one is ye. And then now o plus e. This one is quite crazy. A as well. Oh, didn't we just do a sound before? Yes, it sounds very similar to each other. That's the thing. A. So it's more like a. Okay. So a and a. What's the difference between these two? So a, the first one, a e, consists with a and e. So that the sound goes more farther. A. A. Right. And then the sound is here. A, A, all right? Second one, this one. This one is O and E. So, A, inner sound, kind of. Like, uh, of course, there are not much difference. And as a native speaker, you can't really compare this sound as well. Almost none can actually compare this sound. So, A, A, don't stress out too much, all right? A will be a bit shorter because it's inner sound. A, A. A, all right. Next one, yo plus e. Looks like this, okay. And then circle on the left, and yo e, right. So that will be ye, right? Ye. All right. Let me put it a little bit up high. E, ye, e, ye. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, a ye a ye. So, the thing is, there's a name in Korean, a girl's name called Hemi. Which one do you think we use? Let's actually put, which one do you think? Actually, we do say Hemi. Hemi. Let's try to figure it out, all right? He, H, He, something. That's one syllable, right? And then, me. M, I, right? He, which one do you think? This one is the most common spelling. He, me. And then, second one will be number one. He, me. He, me. Right? He, me. And then the other two, we don't even use these two with he, me. Right? Thing is, he, me. It's supposed to be he, me. However, we don't really pronounce it ye sound that obvious. That's the thing. So meaning is this one, two, three, four, this four sound can be similar to each other. Okay. So how do we compare this? I know it's confusing. So in the case, we need to just, um, you know, be able to understand like which uh, vowels we are using, right? So that in English you say like A as an apple, B as in banana, right? Same thing like that in Korean will be is it A E or Yo E? That will be the question you have to ask. Okay, so Hemi, Hemi, Yo E, Yo E, it is Yo E. Okay, next one, O plus A. Ah. So basic idea is this. Don't get too stressed. Okay. So this one is also quite simple. O plus A. So start from O and with A. O, A, Wa. Wa. Next one. O plus E. O, E. So with a circle, it will be right here. We. 
Ue. Ue. Mm-hmm. Not too bad. But this one, there is one exception, by the way. O plus E is the exception. So it does not follow the way we've been doing right now. So it's still from O and it's not. It does not end with the vowel E. It's not we. It's we as well. So this one is the special one that we do not follow this rule. So it's an ex exception. We, same thing. Okay. Next one. U plus O. U plus O. And then, yeah, we need to squeeze in so that O sound is go underneath a little, right? So, plus U plus O, right? So, U start from U and with O. U, O, O. U, O. O. Alright, next one, U plus E. Okay, U plus E. U, E. Let me change the color for you. U, E. U, E. We. We. So now we have a question, right? Mm. So, between We. And way, what is the difference? Probably some of you guys probably noticed it, right? Way, first one, way, second one, way, 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 way. That's the difference. Okay? It's the same pronunciation, isn't it? Next one, U plus E. That's U plus E. With a circle, it looks like this. I go. U plus E. That become We. U E. We. We. So not too bad, this one, right? And then there is one extra, one last one. Let me just put it all up. So last one, so last one. Okay, ready? So U plus E. It looks like a math class, isn't it? Um, so U plus E. It looks like this. U circle plus E. Okay. U plus E. U E. U E. U E. U E. Can you see that? My mouth doesn't change. It's not we or v v it's not like that, okay? Okay, these are all vowels. Interesting, isn't it? So basically, we have these vowels as a main one, okay? And then the other is just the complex ones, okay? So if you remember the basic ones, other ones just pops up quite easily all right you can remember it easily so again there's one extra exception right so please remember this exception okay then all other thing is it will gonna be the same right and there's one more tip by the way that so in Korea what is like Korean flags looks like there's an in and yang symbol here right so in and yang Minus, plus, black and white, right? So the thing is, so our flag, the way we do is one, two, three, three lines. One, two, three, so that's a four lines. One, two, three, four, sorry. One, two, three, four, or three, four, five, and then six. Okay, that's our flag. Alright, so Korean, as you can see on our flag, this symbol, yes, we really care about this balance, alright, yin and yang. So think about it, the idea of this, it applies to Hangul as well, right? So going up is plus, going right is also plus, right? 
going left minus and going down is also minus, right? So that, imagine this rule, plus always with plus, always merge with plus, minus always merge with minus. This one, this one. That's why plus merge with plus, plus merge with plus, minus always merge with minus. I'm talking about the, where it points, okay? Minus merge with minus, right? Simple, right? So actually, as you can tell, doesn't exist, all right? So these are the tips that I can share for today. So did you enjoy? <laughs> so yeah, once you master it, of course there are more rules about uh, Hangul, yes, um, the Korean, there are some pronunciation rules and all those extra stuff, but these are the one, the main ones that you need to know. And then other bits, we will learn it when it comes. Thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel so that you get a notification when I update a video. I'm planning to making lots, lots of different videos, right? So make sure that you enjoy my video and follow my lead. All right. Thank you so much, guys, and see you next time. 안녕히 계세요. Bye bye.